Olympics? So, well, our biggest connection would have been Toronto Public Health. So we would get cases and cases of condoms, like thousands and thousands of condoms. I remember like 3,000 condoms or something. It was a lot. We would fill the closet with boxes of cases. And um, they basically just paid us to do street outreach and hand out condoms and hand out pamphlets. And that action in itself is, is grassroots, can be grassroots building. It can be for an organization like Maggie's because it was a true, I used to, I used to say, like, we invented it. Like Andrew Hunter says it in the Our Bodies, Our Business, where he says, you know, you come along, we've been documenting our projects for four or five years now, and you come along and you talk about these peer-based projects as if you just invented it. You know, yeah. and we really were like staff meetings would get embroiled about whether you worked last week if you were still a hooker. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was fierce in that. Like, this is a peer. She's not a hoe. She hasn't worked in weeks. Yeah. No, not quite. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm not right. Yeah. Um, and so, um, like. We had a kind of an effect on the, I, one of the art which workers who came to work for Maggie's once said, you know, I had a very different attitude about myself and about working as a hustler until I met Andy. I don't, wasn't called Andy then, but, yeah. um, who just was so proud. Yeah. <laughs> and that was kind of foreign in a way that there were people who were like, you know, Danny Cockerline was a natural that way, you know. There's no shame there, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs>